let us look at the group by function group by basically takes your original table and it creates another table now why would you want to do that maybe you want to see the data at an aggregated level for example we want to see the total segment and the shipping mode let us first do it manually and then i'll show you how the group by can be used as well so please watch this so we come back to power bi i'm going to make a matrix in this we will keep our segment in the rows we will keep our shipping mode in the column and our sales in the value as you can see we are getting a table like this with our segment four shipping modes and the value so there are 12 numbers inside but what if we wanted to create a table with only these numbers in it this remember is implicit this is not explicit you are not creating these numbers and saving them anywhere you are simply plotting them on the visualization because we want to create a new table let's click on data and click on new table and we will create a group by table and what is this equal to group by it is asking us for a few arguments first is the table so my original table is my orders table then it asks us for the group by column name that means we want to select segment then we want to select the shipping mode now it is asking us to create a new column which we want so i want to create a name so this would be in double quote and let's call this um total sales in fact we already have that name so let's just call this yeah i think we can use total sales that should be okay total sales and then what is the expression that means how is this column called total sales being calculated we are using a sumx now we want to refer to the table that we have already created which is segment and shipping mode so we use something called current group as you can see from the description it says that we are accessing the sub table representing the current group in the group by function and if you notice carefully this can only be used in the group by function what is the expression it is my sales amount so before i press enter let's just think about what we are doing we are creating a new table with our segment and our shipping mode where are these two columns coming from from the orders table now we are creating a third column called total sales which is the sum of my current group that means segment and shipping mode and what is the expression it is my sales amount so when i press enter you will notice that we get a grouped table like this so just think about it what if you wanted to find let's say the average sales as well i hope this should be fairly self explanatory so i want to write average sales but you see there is a problem this is a very common problem and that's the reason i wanted to discuss this what happens is that let me show it to you like this once you close the expression if you put another comma you can give another name this parenthesis is important that means you're closing your sum x now you can give another name so let's call this average sales and this would be average x of my current group and the expression would be the average of sales like this so let's see the formula now it looks like this i think it looks good let's press enter and you can see now we can see the total sales and the average sales so basically you can create as many columns as you want using a single group by and do remember this is going to create an entire table as you can see on the right side the group by table 
Now, obviously, if you go back and if you try to create another matrix, so let's just copy and paste this. And instead of using the orders table, we are going to use our group by table. Let me minimize everything. So I'm going to remove my ship mode and my segment and the total sales. Total sales, ship mode and segment. Let me just swap them. Now, obviously, these are the same results, right? The first one and the second one. But remember, the big difference here is that the second one is actually explicit because we have calculated all these results ourselves. That means that if I want to refer to these numbers somewhere, we would be able to do that. It takes a little bit of time to understand why you need group by. So don't force yourself into using it everywhere, but definitely keep it in your arsenal and you should know how to do it. When you start working with larger data sets and more complicated models, group by definitely will become very important to your entire process.